Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be answering the question, can I use my cast iron cookware on a glass cooktop? And we're going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. You can find it at easybeasy.com, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into the video. Now, I have been using a glass cooktop for about 30 something years, and recently finally got the opportunity to upgrade to a gas oven. And I tell you what, I really like it. But I have been using that glass top for a lot of years and I have been brutal on it. If you have watched any of my videos, you've seen where I just bang it around. Now I have chipped some of the enamel around the rim where I've dropped pieces on it, but so far the top has been intact. But we're gonna take a look and just see how tough a glass cooktop is. So let's go out to my carport where my glass cooktop stove is awaiting to be taken off to be scrapped and just see how tough it really is. Here we are out of my carport with uh, ready to be restored Red Mountain number eight. So we're gonna use this Red Mountain that's been stripped and mainly just to show how the cooktop reacts to when it is a little bit gritty. Before we get started, I just wanna take a good look at this cooktop. For it to be used, maybe 20 years or more, looks kind of bad, but I mean, generally, the cooktop is not too bad. Take a look over here. But we'll see a few dings around the edges right here and right here where I dropped pieces and where I come back and uh, on the edge and kind of beat it up a little bit. That's really the worst wear that I have due to cast iron. And there has been a lot of pieces drug across this cooktop. And quite a few dropped on it as well. Not bad looking for the amount of use that I've put through this thing. And like I said, I have been rough dropping around cast iron and scrubbing it across there without any real problems. And then you see right here, we're not really causing any issues whatsoever. Now I did have some buildup right here, almost like a seasoning of oils that had been burned on. And you're gonna have that whether you're using cast iron, stainless steel, or anything else. So let's back up and just see how much abuse this thing can take before it gives up. We're not getting any scratches. I mean, I've really got to bear down and I just can't scratch it. Now I know you're saying I'm not going to be doing that with mine and I'd rather you not try it either because if you do scratch yours, it ain't going to be my fault. But I'm just saying that it's a lot tougher than you think. Now I will say this, there are a few things that you really gotta watch out for. A few years ago, my brother was cooking a pot of beans and he let the water run out. And that heat from that cooktop, it just built up, built up, and built up until that excessive heat cracked the cooktop. Once the water was gone, it was just too much for it. So you don't want that to happen. Now here's another piece that can cause you some problems, and that is the lid. Now, if you set your lid down on top of an eye, that heat will build up underneath that lid to the point where it will explode your glass top. I have a friend on Facebook that did just that. He took his lid off, set it aside while he was stirring his gravy or whatever it was he was doing. He set it on top of an eye that was, that was on. That heat built up underneath that lid to the point where it exploded his cooktop. Now it will happen, it can happen, and it will happen if you do that. So don't do that. So let's get back to trying to destroy this cooktop. I'm gonna... I'm 
I mean, it's pretty tough. Not so bad. I probably need some goggles. <laughs> Wow, I'm going to go get me some goggles because I think when I finally do break through this thing, it is going to be wild. So let me go get some safety glasses just to make sure I'm safe. Okay, I got me some safety glasses because I think I'm going to need them. I do want to say this. If your cooktop is already hot, I believe the possibility of it cracking sooner is much greater. With it cold and not on, uh, there's probably less stresses involved. So it may take a little more force, but just to let you know, they're a lot tougher than you think they are. And I'm starting to get worried about my Red Mountain Number no. 8 cast iron skillet. I'm thinking if I have to hit it too much harder, I'm just going to have to go get a hammer because I just don't want to damage my cookware. Even though it's not been restored yet, it's still a nice piece. So let's get back at the destruction. Wow, not even chipping it. There we go. That's pretty easy once you get it started. <laughs> let's take a closer up look at the damage and I'm telling you it took a lot of pounding to get to this point so really really surprised let's take a look at the thickness of the glass so it's a very thick glass it's plate glass tempered glass it doesn't break into small little pieces like safety glass does. But there you go. There you go. I finally got through it. But man, was it hard. I mean, I, I was worried that I was going to break the handle off of my uh, number eight skillet. But uh, Red Mountain proved to be tougher than the glass stovetop. But as you see, it's not as easy as you think. Now, I'm going to say this, you may have a stovetop that has a weakness or some kind of stress in there that just waiting for the right touch to unlock it. But I believe in general, they are a lot tougher than we give them credit. So can you use cast iron cookware on a glass stovetop? Absolutely. I've been doing it for years and years. Many other people have as well. One thing that you got to know is if you have a piece that is a spinner or one that wobbles a little bit, you're not going to get good contact on the stove like you would if you were cooking with gas because the gas is going to come up through the grates and it's going to get your cast iron heated evenly no matter what. You just have to generally be careful. You know, don't go in there and just go to banging away with your cast iron because you will break it eventually. Uh, it took quite a few licks. I probably need to go back and count how many licks it took, but I mean, I really laid into it. But I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have, Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. So thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before we go, I just want to share something with you really quickly. In Psalms 51, verse 15, 16, and 17, it says, O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings, the sacrifices of God are a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, thou wilt not despise. I just want to say, share the word, and be a blessing.